Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with Theodore Remington. Where, uh, yes, last time we uh, heard more dream visions and that we can't remove Keep the tadpole going. and have to find a source of uh, tadpoles in the cult. Well, I say bollocks to that of not removing the tadpole. We're rebels here. Ah, my good fellow. Oh dear, what happened Quite to Forrest Beard? What kind of you have here? I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Have your research turned up anything that might help with the parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Mm -hmm. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Is it even... That is a nail, not a needle! It both starts with N, but there's a vast difference! How many times have you done this before? I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Dreamt of it? So, uh, I will give you a little trigger warning here. Uh, maybe uh, I'll put a time code in. Maybe skip uh, to that if you don't like eye stuff. Yes, eye stuff. You have been warned, right? Okay, let, well, okay, let's do it. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Do you even have the faintest of an idea what you're doing? Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, Nail. not through it. The needle finds the gap between Nail. the eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Okay, let's hold on here. Ah! shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. That's a nail! I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, ah! There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. So, we are stuck with a question here. Okay, let's stay still for now. Volo carefully withdraws ah! the needle from your eye. Ah. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Why? Now, anyone with a little bit of a lick of sense, and I think especially someone with the intelligence and wisdom score of Theodore here, should realize this is a terrible idea. But, I'm going to veto it here for full alls. Let's just say that uh, Theodore had a bit too much to drink last night. And uh, he's, uh, and he comes off the dream, is now rebellious. He wants to show off that little dwarf and uh, girl. He can demandle this himself. Okay. Okay, do it. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Don't move. And uh, no one, let's do this. Cold metal. No one approves. No one thinks this is a good idea. Pile. And then, tap, tap, stab. <laughs> ah. Do you feel it? Huh. I think yes, I feel it. On the run. I'm not broke. I'm not good. I'm not good. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just. A Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Uh. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. Well, I'm surprisingly clean of blood there. Did a 
appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You knocked out my bloody eye out! Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Partly! Perhaps there is something more I can do. All right, to be fair, I was so stupid to, tr to trust you. I, I feel this is part my fault. What's that? Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. Oh, now you're and, going to get the um, uh, transhumanism. Very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. And now he runs away! You bastard! Get back here! And, uh, well, let's see if we can, uh, see it. If we chat with, uh, some of the... Let's, uh, let's chat with Dog. Uh, let's actually activate our Dog speech. Amicus Animatus. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Well, let's see if you can see it. It's a little bit hard to see, but you might see one of our eyes is, uh, now the wrong color. Yeah, you, you can see it. But apparently it does offer us magical sight, because now we have sea invisibility. And see visible creature within 9 meters. Creatures must succeed in dexterity, say so they or lose their say, invisibility. So, that's nice, and I feel a like cleric of God would like some magical artificial upgrades. That would be cool, right? Hey, Karlak, I know you didn't approve of that. Probably What's was too gross to see. Yeah, you see it quite clearly here. Oh, well, at least it's a somewhat nice looking. I, I actually would have liked it to be a little bit more artificial looking. It would have been cooler, like, if it was, like, a uh, little bit like um, Will's Eye. Which is interesting, I tried uh, doing that, because uh, you know, you can do every dialogue with one of the NPCs instead. And uh, they won't let you do it with Will, that scene. Because he'll point out that he only or already has one good eye, he just <laughs> some poking around with his last good one. So anyway, with that, a uh, little fun, fun zone. Let us uh, teleport, uh, get them out of here, and go on some more adventuring. In the, um, let's go on the Risen Road. We haven't explored there too much. Oh, it seems to uh, Shadowheart wants a word. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Is it about my eye? Believe me, I know. I'm a drink, don't continue on. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. I could have died you to follow just died, now. Spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Well, it was nothing. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. Okay, what's that? There's scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. Mm. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. Oh. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Okay, it's like that Sometimes sort of thing. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. 
My mother's much more supportive. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. Well, isn't that uh, like an acid when you are in a church of darkness? Also, hold on one moment, I need to fix some audio things. So, do you think uh, your mother will ever, ever support you in your whole dark justice yard thing? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Hmm. Well, thank you for sharing, I guess. Uh, bye now. I hope you do your dream thing. Get the job you wanted. We really can't all get the jobs we wanted. Now, I always wanted to be a smith, and I'm pretty much there, so cool on me. Alright, so we are going to explore. If we look at the map, we have not explored this whole darkness area, so we should uh, probably proceed there. Already covered that one. Okay, so we've been here before. Ah, yeah, this is where we found uh, Karlak before. Okay, so let's go up. Oh, there are still things. Oh no, no, we fought the hyenas here before. Yeah, we've been here before. Okay. I think we questioned the death caravan here as well. I believe so. Let's try it out. One second. Uh, where's that dead spell? Oh, did I? Get to put that thing on. Uh, yes, we did. Okay, put the thing back on. Can we ask the dead nose things? The corpse remains silent. No. Okay, well, let's go and explore what's up on this road. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Oh, that just goes to the inn. Okay. Already explored the inn quite thoroughly. What about this little path here? We have more that have I been here? I don't think so, else we wouldn't get re running into a safe point suddenly. That symbol in the blood. What does it mean? It means gnolls. Quite clearly, it means gnolls. Right, okay, let's uh, see if we can do this yet. That's not very good. What if I get a bit closer? Oh! That was just a little bit too a bit closer. Well, they're all at him. Ow! Okay, Hellish Rebuke. Are they all gonna pull this shit? Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, well, this is not great. Onward. All right, so what spell shall we start with? Ah, let's toss it out, the big one. Guiding bolt, good. Oh shit, there's more. This might end badly. Hear that? Someone's fighting the gnolls. We should help. Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Okay. That's a lot of gnolls we have to fight. Okay, well, I guess we go into melee instead. Don't I? Oh, right, because of the stupid soul numbing thing, right. Well, that's my turn then. Should have cast as a spell, it would have been better. Okay, we definitely want to start to uh, do uh, some 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 yeah some good damage here. Ah, we still have to bind properly because something's gone wrong with that. Okay, just throw it on yourself. Now let's just see if we can just get the archers. Good! It's two dead ones. Very good. Fuck yes. Okay, well, at least uh, Carl I care is enjoying themselves. Think you know what time it is? I want to rage. Until you rage, you can summon an intangible spirit each turn. That's interesting. I have no clue what that would do, but uh, sure. Reckless attack. I still roll the one. Even with advantage, still roll the one. That's impressive. shock of psychic pain the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours you see yourself uh -oh. through her eyes a pulsing red cluster of organs feast i kind of don't want them no. to speak with shadow heart on the this the voice has forbidden this meat no see your whole world as a meal this voice is acting as a leash but it won't hold them for long as the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Let's search her mind for the source of the voice. Let's be smart. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Buried deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. Focus on the table. How does this game to be there? You see drow and goblins restraining her. Her mind player reaching out and then the voice bringing order. Eating this meat was forbidden, but it would lead her to a feast. So... So, um, I kind of want to get her some favor with Carl, like, so we just fight! Now, I think we might get slaughtered here, actually. Unless they do something stupid like that. Oh, 
Okay, what spell to... We're definitely not moving out of the way, yeah? Oh, we can kill the hyena. Let's do so. I swear to the Lord, what what the what the hell is with my die rolls? Oh. Is she? Oh dear, she's paralyzed. That's bad. And I am soul numbed for at least one turn. Well, I should really maybe get like a damage spell or something. Oh well. Sadly, we no longer have to shatter thing. Oh, let's shoot at this thing with the annoying soul bound thing. There we go. Done that the first time. Okay, time we cleave at these two. What? That's the third critical miss in like one combat. I think our thing is cursed. Let that summon the spirit. Maybe it does something. I have no clue. That is a flop. Okay, I have no clue what it's going to do, but it's there. Wow, that's a lot of hits. Well, okay then. Uh, let's get the cleric. There we go. Completely drained of life. Turned into cement. Very productive. Okay, we can dual wield properly again. Let's do so. Okay, that was a little bit good. Shoot at that one again. Excellent! Here goes nothing. Ah, oh, not even like a damage on that. Oh well. Prepare. What happened to the flump? I'm curious what will happen if we summon the flump. What does the flump do? Does it explode? I have no clue what the flump does. Oh well. Forever, pal. It's funny. And sexy. Am I? Hmm. Fifty-five percent. That's not enough to uh, activate. Look, and of course now I score crit. Great. Ah, oh, yeah, it, it explodes a little bit. I'm still up. I'm still up. I'm a tough motherfucker. I'm still up. Survival is all that matters. Ready. 
Ow! What the hell? Fine. Ah, see if we're actually going to survive this fight. Time to push my luck again. Um, thing here. Okay. Didn't they already have an attack of opportunity? Still seems to revive one. Oh well. Shoot him from the front now. That worked. Finding my way. Put him up. Okay, can we get close? Got it. Yes. Hello. You're not dead enough. You're still not dead enough. Pathetic. Potent magic. No time to rest. Wow, that was a tough fight. So I wish uh, we would have gotten maybe some. Never wanted the easy path. Oh well, By let's have a chat. Out. You're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? Uh no, I looked around. It was a pretty grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knowles. Goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard is a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Really? What's your, what are you transporting? Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Taranths. Taranths are the currency mm. of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. We met some of them already. You're a Zentarim. Your people don't just deal in baubles. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lad like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. No, this is the point where I stop asking and start cutting if you don't uh, become kind. Oh, difficult check. Thankfully, we have a lot of bonuses we can apply here. Uh... Well, a few bonuses at least. Let's go. Ten, that should be enough. If we have some decent... Yes, cool. Fine. No need for more violence. I'll tell my associates everything was lost in the ambush. The chest's all yours. Damn thing's sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings. So there's no point in trying to open it. And no hard feelings, you hear? I'd have done the same if I were you. Hmm. Business at the end of a blade is still business. Ruthless See? bastard like you could make a name for yourself in the Zentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. Passphrase at the door is little serpent. See, this is a good approach shadow. when you're dealing with Zent. I'll tell my associates to expect you. Okay, seems we've made some uh, friends, sort of. Oh well, let's uh, explore this whole options later. For now, I think we have a long enough episode. Uh, join me next time and we'll do other things. Till then, bye-bye.